Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about something that has been puzzling me for the last couple of weeks. Like I was talking with the girls from work and uh, we came to the point where we started talking about relationships and they are all either married or in a very long relationships or they're very young and they only had, you know, like really short relationships. So um, the question I am going to try to answer from my experience from what I know from people around me is do relationships get better in time or they get worse? <laughs> okay, I've been in two long relationships uh, so far in my life. I've been in one that lasted seven years and now I am in one that is it's gonna be 10 years that I'm together with my fiance now in September. <laughs> 10 years. I don't know how did that happen. And it, it went like this, literally. It feels like we only started dating yesterday. Um, I can say I am really happy with my relationship. Like, um, when we are kids, we imagine relationships very different from what they are. We imagine that a relationship is <laughs> like 24-7 kissing, cuddling and love. And what we think love, uh, it's more like attraction, is not, it's not really love. And, uh, but with time, that love becomes more of partnership. If the relationship goes completely to the partnership part, this can become a problem because you don't want your relationship to feel like a business deal, you know what I mean? Uh, you don't want re your relationship to feel like only, I don't know, raising kids and um, or dealing with things around the house, paying bills, going to work and, you know, talking with your husband about who's gonna do what part of work. Uh, this, is, this is not great, obviously. I wouldn't know about the kids part but because I don't have kids. We have a cat though, <laughs> I don't know if that counts, probably doesn't. Um, but uh, honestly, when you're with someone for a long time and you start living together, uh, you do come to the point where, you know, you have to talk about who's gonna do the dishes, who's gonna wash the clothes, you know, and uh, little things like that. So um, it definitely, you do get the boring part of the relationship as well. But I think the most important thing is not to get lost in this boring part. You know, you still need excitement. And if you don't work on it, it's gonna become very hard uh, to have it. Because honestly, after a while, it, it requires effort. I'm gonna explain this to you. So you remember when you were living with your parents, um, there is little magic to something if someone knows when you went uh, to the toilet or when you had shower and how you exactly look uh, wh when you wake up. So uh, there's little to hide. So if you want magic in your relationship, you are gonna have to create it. Uh, it it's not gonna be there like spontaneously because uh, that you can have only when you are not living together with your partner because then, you know, you can you can have hidden things, you know, you can, but you can still surprise your partner. You can still surprise him with a dinner. You can still go on dates and um, yes, it's not gonna feel as thrilling like in the beginning, like 10 years ago when you guys first met. Um, but this is a different kind of love. It's a mature love. And some people like that kind of love and some people don't. Uh, some people still want to go through the wild, wild, wild love. So honestly, what you need to do is think about what you really need, you know, like what is good for you. I was thinking, okay, you know, if, if I go around and sleep with other guys, um, I, I could because, <laughs> because we're not mon monogamous, but uh, I feel like after a very short time, of sleeping around with random people, as I did maybe in my teenage years, I would be fed up with it. And I will, like, I know myself, like, the older I get, the more picky I am. So, in a way, like, there has to be the special man that I really would want to sleep with, or to date him, or to have something 
more with him and i was talking with my partner and he's the same you know you can you can turn around and tackle the girls you want but um in the end um deeper kind of love like the love that grows through years of being there for someone of uh, holding their hand of helping them out is uh, something different than the wild love with a I don't know waiter that you're gonna meet um, on the seaside for your holidays and that you're gonna have wild sex on the beach but never see him again because imagine dating that man and actually spending some time with him and uh, <laughs> washing his dirty underwear you would come to the same thing as you would with your partner and this is the thing that a lot of people don't understand um, I am not talking about toxic toxic relationship toxic marriages and i've seen enough of that you know where people at some point start you know when when you're looking at them as a outsider you're like thinking why are you guys together you hate each other but some people stay together for hate for toxicity because together it all depends what kind of uh, need are you fulfilling through a relationship are you fulfilling your need for partnership for support or are you feeling your need to be angry at someone or are you feeling your need to blame someone for things that are not right in your life you know it all depends what kind of person you're looking for what kind of relationship are you looking for so um long relationship <laughs> of course can be crazy and wild like short relationships obviously but they can be very supportive, they can be good for you and they can really, really help you grow or they can destroy you, like everything in life. <laughs> um, of course, there's 50-50 in every relationship, like don't let people uh, even convince you in different. Um, there is always a choice you can make, always a choice you can make. So if you are in a destructive, bad relationship, get the fuck out. <laughs> and, Honestly, I am serious. Like, get the fuck out now. <laughs> now, get your things and go. Um, because there is a big chance that things aren't gonna get better. And then you need to work and see why you needed that kind of relationship in your life. Um, we don't get things that do not resonate with us. Um, so, whatever you have, it does resonate with you in a way and all the people around you they do resonate with you in some way sometimes i feel very awkward and very weird when i'm talking with my friends and i say that i have the best possible partner and the best possible match i can have in my partner and everybody's like what's wrong with you I, it feels as if there is this um legion of women not happy with their husbands or or boyfriends uh that only complain about them all the time so when you when you come into this legion and say i am very happy with my fiance i'm very happy with him we've been happy for the 10 years of course we had issues but you know i really appreciate how much effort he put into solving them the same as me and uh we've been really here for each other you know this is this is love like if this is not love what is love and um people look at you like you don't hate your fiance oh my i hate hate you like i love him you know he's uh, he's my everything and um i would be a lost person if there wasn't I, of course i would survive survive everything but life is more than just only surviving life is about uh, life is about being happy and i am happy in this relationship um it is weird uh Anyways, like long relationships, the longer you are with some person, the better you know them. Uh, little to no surprises from that person. And if you want to build up tension, if you want to build up good uh, sex life, good love life, you're going to have to work on it. Um, it is inevitable. And uh, they say that this passion, this kind of tingling, the butterflies in your stomach, uh, feeling stays for maybe, I don't know, six, six months to, to a year, and that's it. And everything after that is, uh, is a stable love. <laughs> and a lot of people think that a stable love is not love. It is love. Just the other thing that you had before is passion. And a passion is something that you can't live without, you know. Um, you need passion in everything. You need passion in your, in your work uh, place. You need passion in your, in your uh, personal relationship. You need 
passion in life like passion is one of the things that make you feel alive is one of the things why you're living in the first place um but as you get older i don't know is it maybe because we're not made to live long uh but you do kind of start losing it if you don't work on it so basically <laughs> what i tried to say in the last 10 minutes is that if you are in a long relationship and there are some things that are not good and that are going to shit sit down and talk with your partner and see what you can do about it and start working on it don't don't think that love solves everything magically because it doesn't it doesn't so basically as everything else love requires effort work and cooperation and then you can return a lot of passion into a relationship um maybe you're gonna have to change things um talk with your partner see what he wants see what his passions are see what turns him on and things like that but we're gonna talk about that in the next video um so guys please do subscribe if you still haven't and i will be seeing you soon Bye-bye.